clip about fucking him. Uh, can I actually see it? Because I I didn't actually pull that up actually. There's a clip about him saying he knows Eminem. I thought, oh my, this honestly might be one of the most egregious lies ever, ever, ever in the history of lies. He mentioning now casually that he knows Eminem. Fucking insane. Let's play this clip. This is absolutely insane. And only because of Eminem being in the news regarding the fucking, um, what's his face? The Spence and Crawford fight. That's the only reason why he's mentioning this. So just listen to this lie. Listen to this lie. Whatever it takes to get you competitive so I can have... It, Crawford didn't even break a sweat, dude. He had a mark on his face. I know he looked so. He good. looked amazing, yeah. dude. Walked out with Eminem. Do you know the story with Eminem? <laughs> uh, a little bit, but go ahead. So Bud, I think on social media was like, "Yeah, I'd love for a big time musician to walk out with me, but I don't have anyone this week of the fight." Eminem sees it and go, and Eminem's on Instagram, Twitter, social media. He's DM me. I, I had a thing with Eminem, right? So I know he's on social media. Because when they were doing that, like kind of, they're trolling the UFC Dana White to hit me no, up Brendan, to no, blast Brendan. it out, you know. So I did it. Spoke to Eminem. Insane. One of the craziest times in my life. Because I'm such an Eminem fan. But so Bud Crawford comes out and goes, I'd love for a big musician to walk out of me, but I don't know anybody, you know. Eminem sees it, goes, I'm down. You're my favorite boxer. Boom. Doesn't pay him nothing. Why in that story did he have to mention that he knows Eminem? Just think about it for a second. This is obviously a story that went viral on social media because essentially what Brendan's saying is true. Eminem noticed the clip of Crawford, I think, saying that he would love to have Eminem come out for with him during the fight, right? So that was part of the whole narrative of how Eminem ended up becoming... Eminem, it's part of a narrative of why Eminem was there. So it's a, it's, a, it's a fun story. It's a nice story. But why do you need to insert yourself in that story? The story already is a pretty cool one right fighter doesn't have anybody to come out with and it, it, to walk them out in the ring eminem happens to be a big boxing fan also likes him says yeah i'll do it for you does it for free and they do it and it's a cool moment why can't that just be the story why do you need to insert yourself into that story that's how you know this guy is a pathological liar because of stuff like this it's these unnecessary lies that i think are the evidence that there's something really broken in brendan i swear my life I swear, this is the thing. Because I get, I kind of get, in the entertainment industry, I kind of get the, you know, the desire to lie about things to like make yourself look better, right? In terms of like faking it till you make it, right? Like maybe buying views is a form of lying, right? Um, saying you sold out is a form of lying to kind of make yourself look more popular. Um, saying you got big things in the work and being vague is a form of like making it seem like you got things you know, plan that you're trying to work on, deals you're going to sign. Cool. That was all kind of, you know, things that you're using to kind of keep you motivated and to kind of make sure that you're in a conversation. No problem. But with this sort of lie, it's totally unnecessary. <laughs> There's no reason for you to insert yourself in this feel-good story about a boxer linking up with one of the most legendary you know musicians artists rappers of his time one of the greatest rappers of all time it's a feel good story and he wins in style and he has this guy come out with him blah 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 and they have a hug at the end it's all amazing why do you need to insert yourself into it like just listen back to this right what was the need to have his name associated with this story why because he spoke like oh eminem's always on social media i know because i spoke to him on social like what Let's go. One more time. Walked out with Eminem. Do you know the story with Eminem? Uh, a little bit, but go ahead. Have you done that to your friends before? Haven't you guys done that to your friends? Where sometimes, you know, they're chatting shit and you just be like, you know what? Now go ahead, man. You know, they're going to chat shit, but you don't want to. Because sometimes when somebody lies or talks a lot of shit, the worst thing you can do is interject. Just let them talk sometimes and they might tire themselves out. So you just say, you know what? Yeah, now go ahead. Go ahead. No. I have no idea who Eminem is. No, just explain to me. Yeah, I have no idea what one of the biggest stories in fucking boxing was during the week. No, you go. I have no idea. I'm not on social media. I have no idea what happens on there. You know, explain to me. I have no idea who this guy may be. Go on, explain, explain. It's actually a better, better tactic if you're gonna shut somebody up than actually trying to interject or trying to get them shut up. Just like let them go. <laughs> so Bud, I think on social media was like, yeah, I'd love for a big time musician to walk out with me, but I don't have anyone this week of the fight. Eminem sees it and go, and Eminem's on Instagram, Twitter, social media. He's DM me. I you see what? I was, and and again, look at the story, the fucking levels of pathological lying here. 
he also has to make sure that he lets you know that Eminem emailed him. You know what I mean? Eminem emailed him. That's the levels of fucking liar that this guy is. He can't even say, because I have a feeling, again, I think I said it in a comment to somebody before. If I want to be charitable to Brendan, which I always am on here because, you know, I have fucking, I, I, you know, I have, you know, many, many years of a Christian upbringing and shit. And I was a former fan, so I just can't bear it to go like too deep into all this stuff and too hard. But if I want to be charitable to Brendan, I would say, I think there's an element of this story that may be true. Because Brendan is verified on Instagram, I have a feeling Brendan is one of those verified people who sends like clap emojis and fire emojis to famous people's Instagram stories. And when you're verified on Instagram, I know this because I've worked in you know social media and I've seen stuff online and shit. I know that when you're verified on social media, if somebody DMs you who's verified, their messages pop up at the top. And sometimes, I've forgotten in the, in, the, in the past, but they used to come up as a notification, even if your notifications are turned off. It's sort of like a way to kind of, you know, make sure that you always see a verified message from somebody because in case that might be somebody, I don't know, whatever it may be. But essentially, I have a feeling that Brennan's one of those verified people that actually is always replying and double tapping people's pictures and sending them fire emojis and clap emojis and heart emojis. And it probably gets up to the top of their inbox. So if they just posted a story, they might just op automatically open his message, not knowing who he is. And then when they see his message, see his verified, they just might double tap it as like a acknowledgement that they saw your message. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened. Eminem may have posted something online. Brendan was like, clap emoji, double taps it to acknowledge it. Then he says, oh, you're my favorite rappers in the world. And he double taps and says, thanks. But then Brendan extrapolated that story and spun it like they spoke on the phone or like they had a long conversation via the DMs and shit. That's the real sick part of it because there's truth to always these stories. I feel there's always truth to it. So there's an element of truth which is still quite awesome. The fact that Eminem would double tap your fucking message is still amazing because Eminem is one of the most elusive, super private celebrities, you know, people artists out there in the world, right? He keeps himself to himself, whatever it may be. He's not in the mix at all. So the likelihood of Eminem randomly calling this fucking this guy of all people is fucking bizarre. The 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 you know him messaging him like that is bizarre. So it just doesn't say, seem believable. So why not, why not just say the truth and say yeah, oh my god, Eminem followed me back or Eminem double tap message. I was so fucking happy. That's a good enough fucking story to tell. Why add the extra fucking unnecessary fucking spice to the story and say he messaged me about what? About getting on Rogan. <laughs> about tickets to see you at a fucking the ice house why would he message you <laughs> of all the ex fighters he can message he went to message brendan Shaw. like really crazy guy i had a thing with eminem right so i know he's on social media because when they were doing that like kind of they're trolling the ufc dana white they hit me up to blast it out you know so i did it spoke to Eminem. insane one of the craziest times in my life because I'm such an Eminem fan. But so Bud Crawford comes out and goes, I'd love for a big musician to walk out of me, but I don't know anybody. You know? Eminem sees it, goes, I'm down. You're my favorite boxer. Boom. Doesn't pay him nothing. It was a, tell me if you like this or if, if, you, if you prefer the way they've been doing it or you prefer the way Eminem did it. I'm kind of leaning towards the way Eminem did it. Because whenever, you know, whoever it is, uh, Meek Mill walking out, um, uh, what's his fucking one of my favorite artists um, sings ISIS. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, one of the weirdest lies I've ever heard him say. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Um, it's unnecessary. And again, it's probably more evidence that Brendan at heart, at his core, is a pathological liar. Because at first I think I was along, I was fucking pushing a theory that Brendan might be one of those guys in we, that I grew up with in school that was one of those people that used to lie about all the game consoles they had or about kissing girls or whatever maybe but I don't think it's I think it's worse than that this guy just lies like, like it's like second nature to him it's just like an instant reflex to so just lie 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 and it's so unnecessary because the truth is still pretty cool right but he just chooses to lie because you know he wants to look better than he probably does day to day it's fucking weird